Hey everyone, welcome back to Emma from Fairfield. I know this is a weird setting for my videos to be in. I'm not usually stationary in one spot just talking at a camera. This is actually on a camera, not my phone. My phone is here um, because my phone is going to read me the questions. So this is inspired by the K and A Diaries. She did 40 questions about NYU and I'm going to do 20 questions about Fairfield. So I had my friends gather a list of 20 questions that they had when they were coming in and I'm going to answer those now. So let's get started. So a little intro about me. I am a rising sophomore and I am a biomedical engineering major. So why did I choose Fairfield? I actually made a whole video about this topic and I said, oh, we're going to end the video with my answer. We're going to end the video with my answer. I didn't end the video with my answer. So my answer is, this is going to sound so wild, but you just know when you get to the campus that is right for you, you can just feel it. I got on that campus and I kind of forgot I was on a tour. I just felt like it was the right place for me. The campus is gorgeous. There's so many ways to get involved and the faculty and staff are just there to support you. So that's truly why I chose it. So this question is very hard to answer. It's like kind of picking a favorite child. I would say my favorite thing about Fairfield is the community. I have made so many friends in the great clubs and organizations I am a part of. So I would say that just being able to get involved in such an amazing community and become a part of this amazing community is my favorite thing about Fairfield. So what is my favorite place on campus? Well, I'm going to save places I like to study for later. That's a later question. But just my favorite place in general would probably be the Bellarmine Pond because in the warm months, it's got a fountain and it looks beautiful. And it's just a place that if you're really stressed, it's a great place to relax. This is something I was totally afraid for when I started college because I packed my lunch for the entire four years of high school. So I was like, uh-oh, I can't have that much control anymore. But the dining hall food was surprisingly so good. There's so many options. If you have allergies, they have places for that and the possibilities are endless for what you can get in this dining hall. And we actually have technically three dining halls. So you have so many options, so many things to choose from. You never get sick of anything. I personally love it. So we have three dining halls on campus, the Tully, the Stag, and the Levy. And I would say my favorite is the Stag because I like the little salad bar. I like that it's plastic containers, so it's grab and go. I could eat it anywhere. I could eat it there if I want, but I could also take it and bring it to my room or outside or anywhere really. So I just, I love the grab and go-ness of it. So where's the best place to go for a late night snack? I would say the levee because it closes at 10, so it's open the latest. So that's where you should go. So I'm in a lot of clubs, so bear with me if I have to look down at my list because I'm in a lot. So I am in the Glee Club, I am in liturgical ministry, which is like serving at Mass, so I Eucharistic minister, I lector, I'm in music ministry, which is different, that is singing at Mass. So I am just now starting to canter, which if you don't know, that is the person who sings solo at Mass, and that's what I'm trying to do, uh, but I'm also a part of the ensemble of that. So I work in admissions for the Shadow Stag program, so if you are shadowing at Fairfield, there's a chance that you could be put with me. I am a new student leader, so if you are in the class of 2027, you probably saw me running around doing a bunch of things, helping with orientation. And in the new semester, I am planning on joining the Biomedical Engineers Society and the Society of Women Engineers. And one of my friends is actually trying to get me to join the Student Alumni Association, and I'm thinking of joining that as well, but we'll see how much time I have. Oh my god, the possibilities are endless for places to study. There are so many places, it's really whatever works best for you. I like to study in the library or the BCC, but I have friends who study in the nursing school, in the business school, outside. It's really just whatever works best for you. So for more focused, intense studying, I like the library. More specifically, the main floor of the library and the study rooms. But if the study rooms aren't available, anywhere on the main floor is great for me. And for more relaxed, like, homework, I'll go to the BCC. That's great for in-between classes because it's, like, right in the middle of everything. So I'm very close to my res hall. 
and my class. So it's great for in between class, just homework, getting stuff done. So college is a lot different than high school where there's not really a dress code. So you can wear whatever you will learn best in. I knew someone in my res hall who went to class every day in pajama pants and that worked best for him, so that's great. So the class size ranges on what class you're taking. A lot of those intro lectures can sometimes be a little bit larger, but I haven't had a class yet that's been larger than 25, so that's really what I've seen. Anywhere really from like 15 to 25 is a good estimate of how big your class will be. So what is my favorite class I have taken? It's hard to say because I have just barely gotten through a lot of the engineering gen eds, so I haven't had the chance to take a ton of classes yet, but I really liked my Fundamentals of Engineering class because that had the infamous walk on water, cue a clip. <laughs> yeah, that went well, didn't it? Um, but it was so much fun to get to learn about all the different kinds of things you'll come across in engineering. So I really liked that class. And I'm actually really interested to take biomechanics in the fall, because that's the physics of the human body, and that's kind of what I want to do for work, that kind of stuff. So I'm very excited to take that class. What is the hardest class I have taken at Fairfield? So again, I haven't had exposure to a lot of classes, so this could change as I move up. But physics was so incredibly hard for me because my brain simply does not work that way. Now, if you talk to my friend Charlotte, who did Fun Facts of the Day with Charlotte during NSL training, she loved physics. She is getting a physics minor. She loves it. But for me, it's just not how my brain works, so it's very difficult for me. So how many hours of homework do I get a day? So I find in college it's less of here's what I have to do today, and then once I do all of this, I'm done. I find that there's always something I could be doing. If I wanted to work all day, I could. But I find that I usually spend on a, day, a normal day two to three hours, but on like a heavy day, like during finals week, I could spend up to seven hours in the library straight. That was not, no one was forcing me to do that. I just like to get all of my work done in a row. So I would just, you know, get food in the morning and just see how long I could spend in the library getting stuff done. Because finals week you have no classes. But yeah, on an average day, I would say an average day would be two to three, two to three hours. How often do I go off campus? So it really depends on the week and how busy I am, but my friends and I like to try and take the stag bus at least once a week. And we'll go get food, we'll go shopping. It's really all we do. We like food and we like to spend money. Okay, I got this question during orientation so much. What is the nicest res hall on campus? And personally, I don't have an opinion on this. I'm very partial to Campion because that's where I lived, but they're all so nice. I spent orientation, my orientation in Loyola, and I liked it. I had a lot of friends who lived in Regis, so I spent a lot of time in Regis. I had a lot of friends who lived in McCormick, so I spent a lot of time in McCormick, especially the McCormick Lounge, and that's actually where the NSL stayed during training. And I had a lot of friends in Jogues, too, so I kind of was everywhere. So they're all new, and they're all renovated, and they're all air conditioned, so they're all about the same, except for Loyola. Loyola has not been renovated or air conditioned yet, but that doesn't stop it from still being nice. It's got that big, big lounge that actually, fun fact, used to be a chapel. Thank you, Grace, for giving me that fun fact. So can people move off campus? The answer to that is yes. Senior year, a lot of people can choose to live on the beach, uh, and they can rent houses from people in town. And personally, I'm not choosing to go that route because I really like Barnyard and I'd like to live there my senior year. But I have a ton of people who've actually already gotten their beach houses for their senior year. Do people study abroad? Yes. I actually have a friend who's going to study abroad junior year, and I'm talking to her about that because I'm partially considering it myself. Fairfield has so many programs for study abroad, no matter what your major is. It's totally an option for you, I believe. So if that's something you're interested in, talk to your advisor like right away because it's never too early to talk about that with your advisor, work it out in your schedule. It is totally something that's possible. So many people do it, and I know they have a great time. You can actually follow Global Fairfield for more information on Instagram. I'll link them in the description below. 
Okay, last question. Why should people apply slash go to Fairfield? It's such an amazing school, and I truly mean that. I wouldn't have started a account called Emma from Fairfield if I wasn't so passionate about the school. It's something, I kind of call this my fan account for Fairfield. It's such an amazing school. The campus is beautiful. The classes are amazing. The faculty are always there for you. No matter what you are going through, they will always be there for you. I had like three different people help me with physics in the time that I was struggling with that class. And I passed the class. I got a B. Um, and that is okay. So the classes are are great, the faculty are great, the staff are great, not just the teachers, but the support staff, the Office of Student Engagement, the Office of Student Diversity and Multicultural Affairs, there's Fairfield at Night, there's FUSA, there's so many ways to get involved on campus. I know it's a Jesuit school, but I know so many friends that aren't Catholic or even religious at all, so you will find your place on campus. There's so many ways to get involved, and I know that you will love it too. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, any questions, you can leave in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. And if you have any other suggestions for videos you want to see, let me know. All right, thank you. Love y'all. Oh, hope to see you in stag country. And this video isn't, oh, I don't know what it's called. I should probably look that up. It is hot in here. I keep looking at the viewfinder. Don't look there. Look here.